Gantung How to not only retain your self-respect, but not only get laid, but also lock in a lot more girls on average. Uh, I have noticed with a lot of my students that uh, there's a bit of a pattern with the guys that have the majority of the success out here, and uh, I want to share with that, share that with you guys today. Uh, but we're we're in uh, Darling Harbour. You can see the uh, the Australian flag. There's the uh, Center Point Tower. It's bright and sunny as usual. Um, it's a little bit windy, but uh, this is Darling Harbour. Before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for the modern man. Top link in the description. Check out my website and sign up to do some cold approach coaching with myself. Now let's start with self-respect. Uh, does she think that she can get away with saying the most obnoxious things ever, uh, be rude to you, disrespect you, and you're still going to pay for dinner, you're still going to ask her out on a date and uh, try to pursue her no matter how despicable her uh, behavior is. Now a lot of women out there, if they sense that you are extremely needy, weak, you don't have any boundaries at all, you're just desperate. A lot of women will play up on that and start openly disrespecting you to your face and uh, still you will take her out for a date, not set any boundaries, not pull her into line. And eventually you'll get to the point after so much disrespect and so much pursuing of her and her locking you in as a, as a, uh, putting, putting you in the friend zone, that eventually you will then overnight go from zero to a hundred being super friendly and super submissive to her with no boundaries to becoming angry and, uh, take all your anger out on her eventually. Uh, when really you should have got ahead of the problem and shown, so, shown her that you have boundaries and you have self-respect for yourself early on. Uh, also think about it this way, if you're running around all needy and weak and uh, tolerant of her abuse and her mistreatment and disrespect of you, well, you're training her to do that to other men. And society, if, if all men behave like I do, uh, we wouldn't have the society that we live in today. Uh, Pickup wouldn't even be a thing because men would be men. Men would have self-respect, but they just don't have it. Uh, on mass, they don't have it. And there's a critical mass of men out there that not only uh, don't respect themselves, they don't respect society, they don't respect other men. Uh, and because of that, they're so needy and they, they see it as if uh, women are the angels of society when they're, they're not, they're just not. Um, and if you actually believed in equality, then you would actually treat them equally and have some boundaries for yourself and some self-respect for yourself. So, now we've kind of established that, the next part of this is off the cold approach, I have noticed that there's quite a few guys out there that uh, they, as soon as they get into the, the, the approach, they just don't believe that they're worthy of the women. They don't really have self-respect. And they will pursue her regardless of how, uh, how little uh, interest she's showing with him. They will, they find themselves pursuing her and texting uh, even if they're not, she's not really replying, she's not really showing interest. Uh, these are the guys that uh, they ignore all of the signs out there that they're being given. 
for instance, you know, the girl's the girl's a little bit on the fence whether she should turn up to the date or not, and he pushes and pushes and pushes and ignores all of the signs that she's just not really that interested. Now, then he turns up to the date and um, he turns up on time and then he calls her, he's wondering why she doesn't turn up. It's because, well, she gave him so many subtle hints that she wasn't really that interested and uh, he, didn't, he didn't want to accept it. He just tried to giggle through and push through and uh, just had no, no boundaries for himself, no self-respect. Um, generally, if the girl has, uh, you know, she doesn't really have a lot of interest in you, you, you should be able to see it early on. Uh, and you should give her out, you know, she, she should have ample opportunity to leave at any moment. And um, in reality, you shouldn't really be uh, pursuing a girl that isn't really that keen on you. Because all you're doing is setting yourself up for more and more drama, more and more... Uh, not only off the cold approach, but uh, when setting up dates and every other aspect of it, every other part from the cold approach all the way through to dating her, you should always be showing self-respect for yourself and be willing to leave at any moment. But a lot of guys, they... Um, and and this, is, this is not just me just anecdotally throwing out my opinion here it's now that I'm coaching I've noticed uh, a difference between the guys that have success in dating because keep in mind it is easy to e far easier to just sleep with a girl than to lock her in and there are a lot of guys that are very needy and very weak-minded and very direct and oh please 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 take me then they they end up sleeping with the girl but she disappears and they have a lot of trouble locking her in whereas there are guys out there that uh, it's it's almost like you you'll notice that let's just say because you guys are out in YouTube world you're not out in the reality of dating you're you're watching YouTube uh, in fields and, and you're looking at guys that are funny and charismatic and well-spoken and um, from my experience a lot of the guys that are funny well-spoken and um, not just well-spoken but just funny and they come across a little bit weak and a little bit too playful they're, they're going to get laid you know they're going to get laid with even the most basic of intermediate or beginner game uh, based on their mate value um, it's bright out here, really bright, but they're going to struggle to lock the girl in. They really are. Um, some of them will lock a girl in, but a lot of them won't. And I will, I have noticed, and, and this, this, this happens over and over and over again, is that, uh, I've noticed this pattern just with the, the students that I've had myself recently is that a lot of the guys that are kind of boring, serious in the cold approach, James Bond style, and they have self-respect. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're, they're seriously boring guys. Uh, they're just a little bit more serious. They, the girl knows that this is a serious interaction and he's not impressed with her. Those guys tend when they hook a girl, they, they have a lower hook rate, but they tend to get laid uh, more. And when they do sleep with the girl, they have a, they have a lower flake rate. They have a, a lower rejection rate when, when they get into, you know, number closing, going out on dates. And they're more likely to lock the girl in uh, because she knows that he has self-respect and he's willing to leave at any moment. Now again, you guys watching this, you'll think probably out of neediness. You're there listening. Okay, well that's good, so I can leave at any moment. Does that mean that every approach that I get into, I just leave straight away and um, I just don't get laid ever and I don't have any success? Well, no, it, it doesn't mean that. Uh, off the cold approach, uh, it means that you, you just show that you have self-respect. You're less likely to number close a flaky number. You're less likely to get a girl's 
uh, contact information and pursue a girl that is clearly showing signs that she's not interested in you and if she's showing that she's not that interested in you you have enough self-respect to just go oh, okay that's cool next uh, you know uh, these guys if she's disrespectful off the date they're gonna close it shut down the date early if she's showing signs that she doesn't want to turn up to the date they'll give her outs oh, look if you don't want to turn up then turn up uh, I've got other things to do my time's valuable um, and I also notice that with a lot of guys that reach out to me they they'll fill out the coaching form and they'll, they'll want to get on the phone to me and they won't respect my time uh, they they think that I have all day to just take inquiries all day and uh, uh, that shows that they don't respect their own time if they think that I have all day to just get on phone calls and um, uh, you know window shop when clearly you know recently I had a guy reach out to me with a late he's, he's in his 20s mid 20s and he's uh, he's got a late count of five and uh, just kind of disrespected my time and disrespected himself which is evidence that he just doesn't have um, any respect for his own time and uh, will never really get to the point where he's going to make a go of this uh, and that says more about him than uh, me it says more about someone in their 20s you know they'll, they'll get to their they'll get to the 30s and then uh, their lack of results their lack of having a, a proper girlfriend and all that other good stuff uh, They'll, give, they'll get a real punch in the face where they start to realize, hang on, I'm running out of time here. And I think um, that kind of went all over the place. But there is a pattern that I'm noticing uh, amongst the guys that are getting most of the success. And, uh, you know, if you come across as that guy that when, you, when she approaches you, she has in the back of her mind she has flashbacks to kindergarten with that that guy that guy that was uh teasing her and bullying her and pulling her hair because you're giggling and you're, you're coming across weak and you've got no boundaries and then she tests you some people call it a shit test she gives you she disrespects you somehow some way and you just tolerate that and then she's like that's the guy that's that weak guy that I don't want anything to do with. Um, if you come across like that, then we go down the rabbit hole of the uh, the emotional trauma and inner game problems that are connected with that. You get a lot of rejection, then you start getting angry, start getting annoyed at uh, dating in general. Um, you know, I had a guy that uh, literally day one told me that he's gonna give it three or four months and he's going to quit uh, and he'd done coaching before with a, another big company very big famous company uh, he didn't didn't have that area of his uh, life kind of solved or sorted or at least in the right direction and um, within a couple days he felt like he had gained so much experience with someone like myself that well there is a difference I spend a lot of time out here executing on proper cold approach and I have been doing it for a very long time um, only recently started coaching so there is a difference between myself and a lot of the other guys out there that are coaching uh, a lot of them are kids a lot of them don't really know what they're doing and a lot of the big companies are just exactly that they're big companies there's not actual gamers there that know what they're doing so you know I've had quite a lot of success lately and I'm starting to notice a pattern amongst the personalities of guys that uh, have the most success and uh, the guys that aren't having that success uh, identifying that early and um, yeah you know you want to set some boundaries you want to make sure you have self-respect you don't want to let people disrespect you especially girls that you're trying to date uh, that can emotionally hurt you I call it uh, death by a thousand cuts you get a few rejections it doesn't really hurt but over time it really does sting and you want to you want to nip that in the bud in the butt in the bud early 
So anyway, I've kind of gone over, all over the place. Darling Harbour, great little spot to do some DG. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.